Okay, so Richard used to sleep rough in Leeds about 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, and can you just describe what this area is and where we are now? It's just basically parkland um, opposite the cathedral. Um, and it was, it hasn't really changed much apart from there's less trees and less people. And you, you used to actually sleep rough here, didn't you? Yeah, just on, just on top of the bridge, just by the railway tracks. Can you just talk me through what a typical night and day might include then? Um, daytime it would just be just, just walking around Leeds, um, meeting up with a few people maybe and um, just not sort of like, well just, just, just basically trying to get food for us to eat and we'd probably go around and see uh, a couple of people, vicars and offer to do gardening work and stuff like that for people to try and get a bit of money and if we didn't we'd, we'd, we'd probably just end up shoplifting. Uh, for food mm. and that was it really just mainly for food nothing else like you know the old toilet touches every now and again but it was mainly for food so so it wasn't a case of trying to make money as such it was no, just no. really getting by yeah 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 it was just basic necessities it wasn't sort of like having people off on the streets or anything like that you know um, it was just basically just sort of like sandwiches cornish pasties just basic essentials like you say to keep us going um, so can you kind of explain, you, you told me you used to sleep just over there, yep. um, would you have a sleeping bag, what did, what did it actually I'd have, a, I'd have a, my, my rucksack, I used to have an army rucksack that I used to sort of like keep my sleeping bag in and I'd always have sort of like cardboard kept at the top of my sleeping bag and a, a, like a plastic bivouac bag as well to sort of like keep me dry just in case it rained, just put my cardboard down, sleeping bag on top of the cardboard, bivouac over the sleeping bag, plastic bag and uh, if it was cold on a night, it'd be newspaper down your socks to keep your feet warm. And some old tramp taught me that. <laughs> and what was it? What was it like? I mean, most of us can't really relate to what that is actually like to go through. In the summertime, it it was always all right in the summertime because it was never too cold. But in sort of like the winter time, if you sort of like sleeping out, it it, it can be cold unless you sort of like in proper shelter, um, which that was during the summer because it was the, it was full of trees over there like you know what I mean but and there was leaves and he was, he was always under cover in the winter when in the autumn when the leaves used to sort of like fall and it, he, was, he was pretty sort of like out in the open with the wind and stuff and it was sort of like really cold sometimes. Do you mind me asking how you ended up um, homeless? Um, well I had, I had sort of like everything that people sort of like basically have nowadays like I had my own place you know I had a girlfriend job and everything you know what I mean and when we split up and I lost my job because I didn't have anywhere to live and I just ended up coming back up to Leeds and I just sort of like hitchhiked around for a while and spent a lot of the time on service stations but they always say you always come back to where you're sort of like originally from you know and I did and I come back to Leeds and I tried to get into hostels but I couldn't get in because they were all full and until I did get into a hostel, I just ended up sleeping in Leeds Rough for about two and a half, three months. And there were problems with drink and drugs as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got in with a crowd of other lads that were sort of like homeless at the time and they were sort of like drinking cheap wine and smoking weed and there was a couple of heroin addicts, but um, yeah, bad time. So it's um, Homelessness Awareness Day, World Homelessness Day. Yep. Can you just tell us about how important is it that people are more aware of homelessness? Uh, well, people don't see homelessness, you know what I mean? I mean, the only time, I mean, you can walk around any city during the day and you wouldn't think there's any homeless people about, but on a night, you, you, you do see a lot of people, especially in Leeds, and I've been to places like Birmingham where homelessness is rife, you know what I mean? But the government say that if you're actually living under something that's actually sheltered, like a bus shelter, with a roof and two sidings, you're not actually classed as homeless. Because that's clusters living in sheltered accommodation. And yep. it only makes me laugh just talking about it now, you know. It's absolutely ridiculous. I could take you to on a on a Friday and a Saturday night, I could walk you around town from one end of the city centre to the other end of the city centre and I could introduce you to at least fifty homeless people that I know personally. You know what I mean? So it might happen through their own fault, it might happen through something that's not quite worked out for them like it did with me, or it might just sort of like be unexpected but there's always going to be people that are going to be homeless, as far as I'm concerned. So if you could pick out a number one thing that needs to change, um, what would it be? Hostels. 
there needs to be more hostels. There's, there's, there's nothing in Leeds apart from Emmaus and maybe a, a, a couple of other places that are sort of like out of Leeds, that sort of like cater for homeless people in Leeds, you know what I mean? And I could, like I say, when I was, when I was homeless in Leeds 10, 12 years ago, I could have taken you to seven or eight hostels in Leeds. There was the Salvation Army, there was Whitehall Road, there was a couple of places in Armley, Pudsey, and all of them have gone because the government can't be bothered to keep them open because they want to build houses on them or just knock them down because people are complaining through people just junk and drugs, dr drink and drugs even. People think of homelessness and they think junkies, alcoholics or thieves, you know what I mean, or all three and that's just not the case.